Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up iPerf3 on an Amazon AWS LightSail instance. So I'll put a link in my description to a playlist I've done on iPerf on how to install it on Mac, Linux, Windows. Um, I think I have iOS, maybe I have Android, I don't remember. But I have um, on lots of different systems. So this one will be LightSail, and this will also probably work for other um, cloud providers, maybe like Google and uh, Microsoft, I'm not sure. Um, you could probably do something very similar. So I've logged into my Amazon LightSail instance, and I'll hit Create. Um, so I'm on uh, Amazon LightSail. I've got instances. I'll click Create Instance here. And then it says uh, Instance Location. So I have um, Ohio Zone A chosen. And then select your platform. I'm going to choose Linux, Unix. So down under Select a Blueprint, I'm going to choose OS only. And then I'll choose Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And then you'll, um, you'll need a key pair set up, an SSH key pair, if you don't have that set up already. I think you need one set up. Um, I'm probably not going to log in with SSH on this instance, but I already have that set up. So uh, we're going to choose the cheapest one, which is $3.50 a month. And the first month is free. And then we'll identify the instance. So I'll call this iPerf3. And then I'll hit Create Instance. And so now it'll take a minute to create this instance. Okay, so the instance is created. I'll click on iPerf3 now and I'll go to networking. And I'll scroll down and it says firewall. And I'll click add another. And I'll type in here, we want iPerf3. And then we want TCP and then the port range is just 5201. And that's the port that iPerf runs on by default. So you could change this and you could change, um, you know, set a different port when you run iPerf, but I'm just going to do the default. And it's important to say that this is not, um, you know, other people will be able to use this iPerf server. So if you're doing this, you would probably want to test it and then shut down iPerf. So, um, you know, other people aren't finding it on here. So when people will scan your computer for open ports. Uh, but I imagine if you're just using this within, you know, a few minutes to test something, uh, probably won't matter. So we have the public IP here. I'm just going to select that and I'll say copy. And then we'll use that later. So we can go back to connect here. No, actually we'll go back to the main screen. And we'll click on this little icon here. And this will open a console up. So we'll be automatically logged into our server. So we want to type sudo space app space update and then space, and then we can type ampersand, ampersand, and then sudo space apt space install space iperf3, and I'll hit enter. So when I do the ampersand, what it's going to do is it's going to run the sudo apt update, and it's going to pull down all the latest packages for Ubuntu, and then the ampersand, ampersand says if that first command runs and exits properly, then run the second command. So it ran the update, now it's going to install iperf3. So I'll say I want to continue, yes. Okay, I'll clear my screen. So now I want to set up a server on here, so I'll type iperf3 space, and then I'll type dash s, and this will set up a server. So it says server listening on 5201. Then on my Mac, I'll open up my terminal, and I'll type iperf3-c space, and then I'll paste in that IP address I found earlier. And now I'll run this, and it will do a test. So the uh, Amazon AWS light sale is limited for your instance, I think a terabyte. So you can see this is sending, um, you know, 1.75 megabytes, it's sending this data over. So if you ran this a bunch of times, you are gonna use your data. It's something to keep in mind. So we have the results here. It says it's um, you know 18.9 megabits per second. So this is measuring the speed between my computer and the AWS LightSail instance. So I have like 40 download, 20 upload, um, but that varies. That's how much the ISP gives me. Connecting to different places, you're going to get different speeds. I did test from one LightSail instance to another, and I got I think it was around 420 megabits per second. So 
you know, you can um, use this to find out what kind of speed you're getting with your light sail uh, instance, you know, connecting to uh, individual users. So you can also uh, go here and we have dash C and we can put an R. I think it's a capital R. No, it's lowercase r. Now let me look here. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay. We need the dash R at the end. This will do the reverse. So this is going to test the upload speed here. And then we got 30 megabits per second um, upload speed. And then you can see it over here too. So you can test this on multiple different clients. You could, so I'm testing it on my Mac desktop. I could um, say go on my phone and connect to this. This is similar to like an internet speed test. Although internet speed tests are, you know, open to interpretation on, um, you know, where the server you're connecting to is. So um, if the test server is close to you, you might get a fast speed, but it may not uh, represent your actual speed when you're connecting to someone else on the internet. So this is kind of similar to that. Um, but I imagine the speed tests have lots of uh, bandwidth coming in from lots of different places. So, so now that I'm done with this, I'll hit Control C here, and then I'll say sudo space shutdown space h space now. And that will shut down my instance because I don't want to leave this up and running because I will have to pay for it if I leave it up for a long time. So I could shut this down and leave it here and you'll, you'll pay a little bit for it if you do that. But once this is uh, done running here, I'll go over here and I'll click delete and I just delete this um, instance for now. So, so that's installing iPerf on an AWS LightSail instance. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.